Hi everyone, it's me back again with some editing tutorials for my fans or for my YouTube beginners out there. This is a tutorial about how to overlay two times or three times in iMovie. So let's get started. So the first thing I do is to open iMovie and go to my medium and I have some things there already but I'm going to show you how I got them I go to Google and search for bright backgrounds and use the size 120 by 180 I'm going to show you how I got the background that I want to use so I go to the search box and type bright backgrounds So I find the one that I like and it's bright background tumbler. So and this is the size that I'm using. Most I go to the search tool, see the size, and I use the size. That gives me the impression that it's big and I can use it whatever I want and I can use it as my intro. So as I'm looking through, I see so many very beautiful colors. But you I have chosen one already, out, and that's what I want to, to use for this intro. Say what you want to say, go take it all away. But I'm here to stay. No, you can't get to me. And there is no barricade that I can tear away. Well, I don't want to be just so long, but I just get to it. So this is how it looks yeah and I leave a little space because sometimes I want to add something and I don't want it to be in the green screen I want to add it on my own so we go to this little box and instead of picture in picture like most people use we use green blue screen and when we use that this is how it looks it looks so nice and it looks so beautiful so we look at it now and this is it so beautiful I like it very much. I'm going to reduce down the because we're not going to use the music the person used at the background. We're going to use the one that we want. So, yeah. so when we are done with this and we like the way it is, we love it.
an iMovie icon so that's what I'm going to do so I found one and it's very transparent so I'm just going to save it that's what I'm going to do now and then I'm going to go to my iMovie and look for the iMovie icon no the intro first because that's what we need before we can add the overlay to it so it's done I don't think it's this one no it's this one yeah so we just take it and drag it and then we we add the effect the sorry the text we did on pick monkey and so what did we save it as? Uh, I think it was iMovie intro. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I have a lot of things here. Yeah, iMovie overlay. Yeah, that is it. And it's dark because I used a black ink. And that's what I want to do because the background here is very, very bright. So I just put it on. And that is it. So we click on it and go to fit and then here we go to picture in picture so i just want to see where it starts yeah it's big so now you drag it and you make it as big as you want you can make it like the whole screen big or small, medium big so because we don't want it to move and stay at one place we're going to make the transition go to zero I think it's still too small so we're just going to extend it to make it more big and there it is I don't know maybe a little bigger yeah that's perfect I like it this way so preset we reset the whole thing and that's how it looks so beautiful I like the way it looks yeah so nice so what we do now is that we, we look at where it's starting from. Yeah. So I'm going to drag the text overlay to that same exact thing because I don't want the um, title box to leave before the text goes away sorry my mouse just disconnected I don't know sometimes it does that so I'm going to look at where it also starts and just drag the other one I hope you understand what I'm trying to do so that it starts with the title box and ends with the title box. Uh, that's how I want to do mine so that it looks more nice so that you can see the flowers, you can see the background and it's not only about the text. So now I'm going to drag the iMovie icon the, yeah, onto the background. I don't want it to be in the, in the text box because I want the sorry the text box to be on its own and the iMovie on its own so for the iMovie I don't want it to stand at one place I want it to move and I'm not going to use it for any video it's just a tutorial and I'm just showing you how to do something so I'm not going to use it so I'm, I'm yeah thank God it's connected my mouse pad is connected again so I took it and I dragged it and I didn't want it so big so I'm going to use the can burn effect to either zoom it in or zoom it out
so we go to music because i want to add some music to it so let's listen mm. yeah and listen to a couple of music and let's listen to this one wow sorry it's loud okay so uh, yeah I think that's what I'm going to use I, I listened to some of it and it wasn't I it didn't go with it so let's see so let's see this one yeah I like this one I like it I really like it see how yeah so what I do is to save it and then if I want to start with a video if I want to edit my video I've made the intro so I just save the intro and when I'm starting editing the video I just copy it or I just take it from the desktop bring it on and then continue to edit whatever I want to edit so I want to say thank you for being here with me it's downloading so thank you for being here with me and i hope you learned something and if it's not anything else if you know about it and you know how to do it then i say thank you for watching it and if you don't know and you're a beginner i hope it was helpful and if you know how a different way to add so many overlays onto iMovie please kindly share it with me because I would love really love to know about it so please do that and put it in the comment section yeah that's the video is done and let's see how it looks now it's very big <laughs> so let's see how it looks now I'm going to bring it now yeah Thank you and love you guys. Hope to see you in my next video.